pastors and honored guests. The reins to the United States government and the codes to the nuclear weapons have just been laid in the hands of the 45th President of the United States. And I promise to keep today's speech politically agnostic, but I wanted to grab your attention. <laughs> and so today we'll look at politicians and how they use their body language and how they use their hand gestures to connect emotionally with their audience. And so we'll do this for three reasons. The first is that emotion. So whether you love or loathe, uh, uh, you love or loathe, you, you'll remember the hand, hand gestures and that helps you learn. The second is that politicians, almost by default, are great communicators. They give the same speech over and over again on the campaign trail. And while they're giving the speech, they have advisors on the side that take notes, analyze, and then wait to give them that perfect hand signal at the right time to communicate with, with their audience. So it's the best petri dish to where to see hand gestures and body language to connect with your audience. And the third is we're all here to get better at public speaking. So you can use this and we can all learn together as we move forward. So I have one rule for this speech, and that's professionals participate. So <laughs> as I'm making the hand gestures, everybody at the table, hands above the table, replicating the same hand gestures as I go through. Now I just do two things. One, it'll do a biofeedback loop. So as I'm talking, you'll, you'll be able to make the gestures and, and you'll be able to learn. And two, it'll entertain your neighbors back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as I was looking at this, there are hundreds of gestures that politicians make. So I put them in three bins to help you kind of analyze and uh, uh, categorize them, if you will. There we go. This is going to be great. Right. <laughs> the first is, I'll fight for you. All right? So the politicians make gestures. They want to be seen as fighting for their supporters. So the first is the hand chop. This is a black and white issue. <laughs> I know exactly where I stand. Be very deliberate. No new taxes. <laughs> Second is big gestures. So, yeah, I think I'm having more fun than you are on this. <laughs> so for hand gestures, generally they, they go between a box of the top of the elbows, the top of the head, and then your body width. That's where most of these gestures are. So when you do big gestures, you show that something is important. If I'm having a debate, my opponent has a snafu, a total gaffe. This is a big deal. I'll put my hand out, and even as I move, you can't look away from my hand. Try to. <laughs> it's because it's such a big deal that I'm not going to let this situation drop until I can capitalize on it and address his snafu. Now, President Trump does a one, two, three with this big gestures. His first is watch out. Watch out. People got to warn you this is important. <laughs> the second is this is a huge problem. <laughs> the third is I've got a very precise solution. So one more time. I'm warning you. It's a huge problem. But I got a very precise solution. So from there, there's a lot of you can have the L shape. This is I'm pointing to the sky. Very important. So <laughs> I have the, the hanky drop. So I've got several points, and I'm just going to drop them. <laughs> if I have a cluster, it's the bunny hop. <laughs> and then I can tie the bow. My solution so good, I put a bow on it. Okay. The second bin, that was bin one. Bin two is trust me. So as I, we're having a public conversation, a public hall, town hall conversation, and Arnie asks a question. Now I put both feet in the game, pointing towards him, and then this is a thinker. Everything Arnie says, there's no one else in the world that Arnie and he's making very important point. From there, I can go to the beggar. So, if I already asked a question, I beg for more information. When I take that information back, I give back the cornucopia. So in here, I lay out all my cards. Already what you're saying is, is very important. Can I have some more information? Thank you. Here's all the fruit of my brain. <laughs> the next is the steeple. This is this is not necessarily on a build rapport, but this is, I'm an executive, and I'm in charge. So we'll make a, a steeple here. This isn't very friendly, so the steeple can explode to the basketball. <laughs> now, President Obama is a master at the basketball. This is, gives you the ability to kind of flow. You can move. I'm more relatable, but I still have, almost like they're connected <laughs> with, with lasers, you can still see that, I, that I'm in charge. President Obama also thinks and speaks in essay format. He's a law professor, and so he thinks... An essay format. So he does the slow backhand. Right? 
And so this is topic subject, support, 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 transition, and he does that with each of his, his thoughts. And as you're doing this, I, I can see you nodding as well. So you're moving logically, and then you're also nodding along. The third bin is like me. So politicians have to be very likable. So they'll touch their heart, they'll reach back to it, they'll hold their microphone close to their chest, maybe cheat it over a little bit to the heart, and that just says, F, Fred, I understand what you're saying. I feel you. This is, this is very important. This is, this is also a Middle Eastern, you know, you, you, when you make a, a business deal, you, you touch her over your heart. Um, and so with, so with that, to kind of roll it all up, this isn't really a hand gesture, but it is just a funny solution to a common problem that, that politicians have, and I call it the wave dance. This is the final thing I'll, I'll, I'll leave you with. So politicians have to wave for extended periods of time, and they have to smile, and this gets both awkward and tiresome. So they break it up with a couple different things. The first is the, hey, I know that gal. You can't wave forever, so you're just like, hey, I know that gal. <laughs> the next is, is the thumbs up. So I don't know them, but thanks for the support. So you're waving and you're the thumbs up. And then there is the victory as you go, as you go through to break, to break it up. So we're running short of time, but hey, I know that guy. <laughs> hey, Mr. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, and especially Patty. As, as loath as I am to loathe any person, some of the politicians these days are stretching that. And so by picking a speech which involved politicians, I was a little bit nervous about that. Because here in Toastmasters, we are agnostic when it comes to these things. But you handled that aspect of it extremely effectively. I, I loved your grabber at the start, because it definitely got my attention. <laughs> and then I liked the organization of the, sp of the speech. First, you had the three bins that you were going to categorize the gestures in. And then with, within each of the three bins, you had three gestures within that, the power of three. The threes are a very important communication device because for some reason, that's how we think. Mm -hmm. I liked how you used audience participation because I think particularly for a body language like speech, having the audience understand the visceral reaction, and it was very effective for me and I'm pretty sure for most of the others. I'm assuming that this was the Your Body Speaks project. I didn't know that because you didn't bring the manual. <laughs> so that would be my first suggestion to bring your, bring your manual. <laughs> and then at least let the Toastmaster know what, what it was because as the evaluator, I would like to know what project it is so I can evaluate against that. So I'm, I'm assuming it's a Your Body Speaks and it was just such a perfect topic for it because it was all about body language and gestures. I liked how with each gesture, it's like you made it into a word and then combined those words into little sentences. And you were very fluent with it, much more fluent than I could be. So, you know, this and here and here. And, and you, you, you mix all that up and So it was, that was very effective in conveying that. Now, just a, a couple of suggestions. When, I, I like the organization when you were telling us about that. You could make all that shorter because you were explaining each one a little bit more than, than you needed to because you'd be going into the detail. I, guess I give them three, the, the three things. I would give each of the bins more explicit names. I know you sort of had them, but my suggestion might be the first one is I'm the boss. The second is let me say this about that. And the third would be the wave. <laughs> also, the, what you did very effectively at the end is called a callback. In other words, when you're referring to something earlier in the speech, so when you said, you know, hey, I know that guy, that was a callback to, what, to the gesture you talked about. And within each of the bins, you had little mini callbacks where you'd form them. My suggestion would be to have more callbacks to the earlier pieces, so at the end you're combining all of them into one. But overall, my, my favorite part was the hanky drop and the bunny drop. <laughs> I know that guy. Great job. <laughs>